morning, lovely people. It is bright and early here, but I'm doing another vlog because my piano tuner is coming today. Some of you, oddly enough, want to know what it takes to tune a grand piano. So I'm gonna give that to you today. Even though it's super early in the morning, and I still have yesterday's makeup on because I didn't wash it off last night. Because that's how I roll. Oh my gosh, I have something in my eye. Hello. <laughs> how are you? <laughs> so my Hello. piano tuner is here. <laughs> this is Daniel Skelly. He owns the Skelly Pianos in Tacoma, Washington. And he is so nice to come all the way to my house yeah. and tune my piano. Yeah. And so you're going to tell us a little bit about what you do today. So I'm going to actually flip the camera around and you can kind okay. of tell us a little bit about that. And people don't usually know how you can dismantle a piano. Right. What I'm going to do is, we call it fitting the hammers to the string. Well, the piano has hammers, piano hammers, and they strike the string. Well, if those hammers are not fitted properly to the strings, it gets kind of a whiny sound, and so um, that's that's the first thing that I do. Whoa! So I just I just leveled leveled the strings just by feeling how level they were. Uh huh. So you know it looks like the strings are on the same plane, but if you feel if you feel underneath there, you can tell that some of them are just a little bit higher than the others. And so when we level the strings, we actually pull up. So I'm just going to take this tool and yank up on it. And now the string on the left is a little teensy bit higher. I can see it just. So now what I'm going to do is put the action back in the piano. So I'm plucking the two strings on the right. But the string on the left is the hammer is bearing on all three strings. But the string on the right is bleeding through. So when that happens, you're gonna get, even if it's in tune, it'll get a slightly whiny sounding because it's, it's vibrating out of space. There's three strings on each note, and if there wasn't a way to mute some of the notes as we play the piano, we wouldn't know which string was out of tune. Very true. So I'm muting, this is what we call strip muting. Sometimes uh, piano tuners, they don't mute the entire piano, but I mute the entire treble section. Hmm. And then I just use rubber mutes in the bass. Why is it that you hit the note really hard? On each one because um, the string has a speaking length which is the main portion of the string that vibrates but it also has this segment here and the segment here so anyway when I'm changing the, the the tension on the string there's all these bearing points at the ends of the streaking speaking lengths so, so in order to equalize the tension between all the segments you have to hit it hard and if you don't hit it hard the pianist will come along and hit it hard and we'll knock it out of tune. So That's we me, don't want that. Because I'm a hard hitter. That's, <laughs> that would be Jennifer. No, because when I was in college, I broke a piano string because I played it so hard. <laughs> that was not your fault. But I do like to play the piano pretty rough. We're done 
fun tuning the piano. Oh, there it is. And I will be trying that out later. <laughs> I'm sure it sounds yeah. fabulous. I have yeah. heard him playing and it sounds, he put a lot of work into it. So it sounds really good. Well, it was a pleasure. Thank you so much okay. for coming to today and work on my piano. Make it sound beautiful. Bye.